Okay. Okay, now we can start. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Eddie Tribaskoro, and I'm your host today in this uh, series. We are delighted to welcome you to our Mathematics Distinguished Lecture Series. Today is the second edition from the third year of this Mathematics Distinguished Lecture Series. We are very grateful to welcome the Dean of the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Institute of Technology, Bandung, Professor Wahyu Sri Gutomo. And we also thanks for his uh, continuous support to holding this uh, series. And today we are honored to have with us Professor Dr. Kuncoro Aji Siddhartha, one of the great mathematicians from Indonesia. Professor Kuncoro is a professor from the Industrial and Financial Mathematics Research Group, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Institute of Technology, Bandung, Indonesia. And his research interests are very broad, covering various important fields in mathematics, including optimization, financial mathematics, computational mathematics, and all fields related to optimization. <clears throat> and we can say that he's a pioneer in Indonesia for exploring new methods and directions in optimization and computational mathematics. And he's our senior professor who has extraordinary dedication in education and student supervision as well. In this today's lecture, Professor Siddhartha will discuss about solving nonlinear equation system using spiral, a spiral uh, optimization algorithm with clusterings. The talks will be chaired by Dr. Nofriana Sumarti. I would like to mention here that the audience are not only from Indonesia, but also from neighboring countries. Uh, the number of people who registered in this event is about 106 people. And they are from uh, Philippines, Thailand, uh, Japan. Uh, there's a, we are honored to have a Professor Shimizu uh, from Japan, uh, the president of the uh, Japanese Math Society. And also, uh, we also have uh, people from Korea and, of course, uh, the majority from Indonesia. This Mathematics Distinguished Sector Series is organized by the Department of Mathematics, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Institute of Technology, Bandung. And now I would like to invite Professor Wahyu Sri Kutomo, Dean of the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, to give an uh, introduction remark. Professor Wahyu, time is yours. Sorry, you have to move. Sorry, Professor Wahyu, can you unmute, unmute the mic? <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Pak Edi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Unmute again. Prof, are you the mic still off? Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, yes, good afternoon. On behalf of the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, uh, Institute Technology Bandung, I would like to say thank you. I want to express my sincere gratitude and highest appreciation to 
all of you who has been constant, constantly uh, attending and uh, making this uh, distinguished uh, lecture possible. Of course, uh, uh, thanks goes uh, go to uh, Professor Eddie and uh, his colleague from uh, Department of Mathematics, uh, Faculty of uh, Mathematics and Natural Sciences, who uh, who has uh, uh, who spent many uh, time and efforts to make uh, this uh, continuous event uh, happen, and uh, I would like also to uh, to hope that uh, all of you can uh, gain or obtain benefit from these uh, serial, serial lectures, distinguished uh, lectures, and. Uh, you have also time on or an opportunity to uh, sharing ideas and communicate, uh, communicating uh, uh, some uh, thoughts uh, that is important in development of uh, mathematics in uh, in Indonesia and also in other places. And I would like also to thank all the participants from Indonesia and all of the countries who uh, uh, who are participating uh, this event. And to uh, uh, the speaker, Professor Kuncharov, thank you very much for your dedication. All these years, you have been inspiring us uh, with your thoughts, your love in mathematics. So uh, please uh, uh, do not stop and please also accompany us always. Thank you very much, Paedi. Yeah. Uh, that's all. Have, please have a, a good uh, lecture. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you, Professor Wahyu. And now, before I hand it to uh, Dr. Anna, please, uh, we have a, a, a photo together. So, in that case, I would like to invite uh, uh, read one to to share us uh, to uh, to to let us to have a photo together yes please yeah. uh, good afternoon uh, to everyone please open your camera okay <clears throat> Um, okay, uh, I will still wait for everyone to open uh, the camera. <clears throat> okay, uh, I will start uh, take uh, the picture. Um, wait, there's still... Okay, uh, I will start taking the picture. Please give us your best smile. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, uh, once more, uh, wait a second. Okay, uh, one, two, three, smile. Okay, uh, it's finished, uh, by Eddie. Okay, terima kasih, Ridwan. And now uh, I would like to invite Dr. Anna Nofriana to chair this uh, session, this lectures. Thank you very much, Paidi. Uh, I will now share my presentation, of course.
Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Sofia Sumarti. I'm the moderator. I'm delighted to introduce Professor Uncoro Ajisidato as the speaker of uh, this event. Uh, if I can say that uh, Professor Uncoro is uh, our hidden gem <laughs> because he is very uh, low profile, but he's hard work and helping hand in uh, uh, research and education in in ITB. Uh, he talked about uh, solving nonlinear equation system using spiral optimization algorithm with clustering. So I say first about the sorry. Professor Kunjoraji Sirato graduated from Institute of Technology Bandung uh, with a bachelor degree in 1976 and got a master and PhD degrees from the Université de Montpellier, France in 1978 and 1981 respectively. He got awards, uh, several awards. In 2009, he got a Satya Rinjana Karya Satya is uh, 30 years in service award as a civil servant. In 2016, he got uh, 35 years in service award from ITB. And, the, and this, in the same year, he got ITB Innovation Award at uh, ITB Anniversary Ceremony. Uh, he has done pioneering works so many times. Uh, some of them are following. In 1990, uh, he was involved in developing uh, the STT Telecom curriculum. Uh, it's, it, this is the famous uh, private, private university located in Bandung. And in 2001, he was involved in developing uh, OpenNet optimization of pipeline network. Uh, this is the research consortium among oil and gas industry. And in 2003, he and, and the late Dr. Ma, uh, Muhammad Samsudi, the late uh, Muhammad Samsudi, uh, first introduced financial mathematics in mathematics, uh, ITB mathematics curriculum. So he, he is one of the founding fathers of financial mathematics, especially in uh, ITB. The book that has been published is about financial mathematics and computational financial mathematics. Mm. And the research topics are very wide ranging. It is from optimization, mathematical modeling, financial mathematics, Biomathematics, petroleum engineering, mining engineering, environmental engineering, and etc. These topics, these research topics are reflected from the uh, PhD student research that he has been uh, as a, a supervisor or co supervisor in ITB. And if I look for the Google Scholar, it hits uh, 214 papers. And <laughs> in September, we, we will organize an international conference on optimization and financial mathematics. And it is the tribute for Professor Kunchoro. It's the remark of uh, his end of service as the civil servant. Uh, that's all my introduction uh, to Professor Poncoro. Uh, please, uh, the, you can begin the presentation. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Good afternoon, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I would like to present uh, my talk. Uh, this title is Solving Nonlinear Equation System Using Spiral Optimization Algorithm with Clustering. <coughs> uh, this is uh, an outline of my talks. Yeah? So maybe some topics here. Yeah? <laughs> But uh, yeah, maybe not all. I would like to start the introduction. <clears throat> what is new? Okay. We see that uh, on, in our episode, we see that optimization problem in engineering are often highly nonlinear problems yeah? involving many different design variables under constraint. This is new. Uh, special problem in engineering, yeah, naturally. Such nonlinearity often result in multimodal objective function. Yeah. Hence, uh, we see that local search algorithm such as air climbing or steepest descent method of solution are not suitable to this. Yeah. This global search algorithm should be used to obtain uh, optimal solution. <laughs> this is uh, the problem if we concern about uh, multimodal optimization. Many meteoristic algorithms have been developed eh, to perform global search. Eh. They are cons constructed based on the analogy of natural phenomena, eh, such as biological evolution. Uh, we see that this uh, a great example is genetic algorithm, uh, perfocking and fish flocking. Eh. This is the uh, uh, particle swarm of the system, and etc. Yes, no. Oh. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. There's my problem in my computer. Mm. Yeah. It's looking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. optimization problem in engineering are highly nonlinear for many different constraints. Yeah. You know, cases and also many metaheuristic algorithms have been developed so that uh, perform global search. Yeah. They are constructed based on natural phenomena, yeah, like synthetic algorithm, particle swarm optimization. Yeah. Now, what is about uh, the algorithm, heuristic algorithm? Yeah? So we, we must talk about this uh, term. Yeah? Uh, so let us uh, assemble definition. Yeah? A heuristic algorithm is a rule of thumb for solving a problem. It is not necessary based on precise mathematical theory yeah? and it's not guaranteed to give an optimal solution, but rather a heuristic algorithm is used because it can give very good feasible solution very quickly. This one, so this is a good one. A meta-heuristic algorithm is a heuristic algorithm in which each step is itself a heuristic. So this is a simple definition of meta-heuristic and heuristic algorithm. We have two characteristics of meta heuristic algorithm. Yeah? There are uh, first the uh, diversification and intensification. Yeah? And the diversification phase, yeah? searching for better solution by exploring wide region coarsely. And intensification, uh, we want to searching for better solution by searching around a good solution intensively. Diversification in the early phase during a search can find region, yeah, this is having a high possibility that better solution exists. Yeah? While intensification in the latter phase can intensively search for much better solution in the region found in the early phase. Yeah? So this is a combination of diversification and intensification phase. Yeah, yeah recently, uh, I, yeah, about 10 years ago, yeah, maybe 12 years ago, <laughs> 
A new meta-risk search algorithm called Spiral Dynamic Optimization has been developed by Tamura and Yoshida of Tokyo Metropolitan University. Yeah. Preliminary study at that time has showed that the effectiveness on the method compared to other meta such as PSO. Yeah. So this is the spiral, yeah, our illustration. Yeah. One of the, we have, we have three figures. Yeah. One of them is a spiral galaxy. Yeah. So, so we see a uh, spiral pattern in eh? nature. Eh? So, so we start with the spiral dynamic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let us uh, make a rotation through an angel data. Yeah? So for example, if we have a point x1, k, x2, and time k, yeah? and we perform a um, rotation. Yeah? With a matrix of rotation, of course, theta minus sin theta. Then, if we perform a rotation, uh, we center at uh, the origin. Yeah? We see that if we use, uh, for example, this one as theta equal p over 4. Yeah? So we have, we have seen we start k equals 0. We start from this point. Yeah? If we perform a rotation uh, counterclockwise with theta equal to p over 4, yeah? we rest at this point. Yeah? And at k equal to, we write at this point, yeah? and so on. Yeah? After at stress, uh, we, yeah, we found uh, when we start. Yeah? So, so this is the uh, problem. We can modify if we have theta equal p over 2. Yeah? So this, this is the trajectory. Yeah? So k equals 0, 1, 3, 4, yes. So this is uh, the typical uh, rotation method. Yeah. We center at uh, the origin. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. This. There's a problem. Ah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Now uh, we multiply uh, our rotation matrix with uh, diagonal matrix, for example, this one, yeah? with a diagonal matrix uh, 2 by 2 is a diagonal at with uh, R, where R is uh, between 0 and 1. Yeah? So the result is this in the figure. Yeah? So start from k equals 0 at k equals 1, we see this one. Yeah? So first perform the rotation. Yeah? Under this one, and then shortening yeah, by the factor r, yeah, where r is between uh, zero and one. Yeah. So this might be shortening. Yeah. So uh, if you start from here, yeah, this is the origin, origin r, yeah, then so, and so we shortening yeah. at k equal two. Yeah. So we have at the end we have a, a spiral. Yeah. Trajectory, yeah. and there we found the, the origin. Yeah. So this is a spiral algorithm yeah, with center at the origin. Yeah. If we use uh, this is the theta equal p over four yeah, and r equal to zero point nine five. Yeah. If we use theta p over four yeah, and r equal to 0 0.9, yeah, we see that this is the spiral. Yeah. So we see the difference. Yeah. Here, we have P over 2. Yeah. So this is the trajectory. So we have the spiral converging to 0, yeah, to initial quality. OK. Yeah. Spiral model generate a point converging in the at the origin from arbitrary initial point x0. So this is one. Yeah? So uh, we can <coughs> write uh, this equation in uh, matrix vector form. Yeah? This is the S2 x bar. Yeah, this one. Yeah? S2 is equal to multiplication of diagonal matrix R and rotation matrix S. So this is S2 R theta. Yeah? By translating the origin to what uh, binary point x star, we have a spiral model yeah, with center at x star. Yeah? So this is uh, the result of uh, 
as I said, they will get to the point X star, yeah? the X, this one. Yeah? The tractor will converge to what X star because, yeah, this is a uh, very constant. Okay. A k is sk minus x star. Yeah? So we have a recursive relation. Yeah? There will be this is a conversion matrix. So we are written here. Yeah? Many metaheuristic methods such as GA, PSO, genetic algorithm, particle span, and uncolony optimization use multi point sets with interaction. Yeah? The multi point sets using spiral model is formulated as yeah, this is the multi point sets, yeah? this is the matrix S2, SK, yeah? minus this. This is a center of rotation, yeah? so X star. Yeah? So with the common center X star, set as the best solution among all sets points during a set. Thus, X star becomes an interaction. Yeah? So this is the multi point, yeah? X star. Yeah? yeah. We have a uh, here we have, uh, for example, the uh, first spiral, we have uh, 25 steps, yeah? and the last spiral, yeah? 25 steps or so, yeah? so this one. Yeah? So you see that uh, we start from x0, then 10, yeah? and x star, and you return x 4.6. Yeah? So yeah, this is uh, 4.6, yeah? the origin of the spiral. Yeah? And this is the last 25. Yeah. So we have performed 20, uh, 50 spir 50 iteration. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is, uh, uh, now we start about uh, what is the algorithm developed by Tamura and Yoshida in 2011 yeah, for a minimization problem. Yeah. Uh, the algorithm is relatively simple. Yeah. We have an uh, input M, yeah, this is the number of search points. Yeah. Peter Zento, yeah, theta, yeah, this is the uh, rotation, yeah, the rotation matrix like that, yeah, and R, this is the, again, the radius, the radius spectra, radius spiral, yeah, and K-max K -max is maximum number of iteration, yeah. so uh, we have a process, uh, generate randomly initial points, yeah, x e, and two, v2, and two dimension, yeah, so in the visible region, yeah, set K equal to zero, yeah, after that, find x star as uh, x star equal to x e g zero, which it is uh, minimum. Uh, x x star uh, we have the minimum among the value of f among the m points here. Yeah? X e e one under m. Yeah? So we uh, search the index e as uh, x e such that f x e is uh, minimum among m points here. Yeah? So it is index one. Yeah. After that, we update the, the, the new points on the spiral. Yeah. This is the updating spiral. Yeah. This is the spiral transformation. Yeah. So we see this is the center at x star. Yeah. And so at time k, you know, become, uh, the new point at time k plus k, at time k plus one. Yeah. We uh, obtain a matter point. Yeah start from M points and we obtain another M point at K plus one iteration, yeah? a new point. Yeah? And then we update the X star. Yeah? We first from this point yeah? where we have found that a minimum of F is at K plus one steps. Yeah? So this one, yeah? and continue under K equal to K max. Yeah? Terminate. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, k equal k plus one, and so return to step four. Yeah. So update. So we have a spiral optimization. Yeah. Output x star as a minimum point of f x. Yeah. This is one. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, an example. Yeah. For example, we have twenty points. Yeah. And so uh, suppose that we have among this point, we have f as at this point. Minimum, yeah, maximum, yeah. So after we stop that, we perform a spiral uh, transformation. Then after uh, then iteration, yeah, we see that uh, the point will transfer to this point as a minimum, yeah. and the other point is we have so another distribution of 
point at zero. And after that, we continue. Yeah? So we have another point, yeah? as a minimum. Yeah? You see that uh, we have at this point. Yeah? This is the minimum among 20 points. Yeah? Um, continue. Yeah? yeah, this one. Yeah? So we can another, yeah? another position. Yeah? So we search the another one. Okay. Yeah? So this one. And that's under the conversion. Yeah. Okay. So this is good. Ah. So I uh, would like to show you the example. Eh? Suppose that we have this function eh? and in the region of minus four under four. Eh? If we have an uh, input parameter, eh? M between the search point, eh? we have 30 eh? and R equal to N05 and K max equal to 300. Eh? We, we obtain uh, the same problem that at the end at k max we have that x1 is equal to minus 2.9 and x2 is with f equal to minus 78. Oh, sorry. This is uh, the minimization. Yeah? And this one is a uh, graph of the function, yeah? this, this function yeah? f in three dimension. Yeah? So this is. Uh, and the lower part is a contour plot diagram. Yeah? Yeah? So we see that the minimum will uh, start at this point. Yeah? So we see that this is the blue, dark blue. Yeah? So this is in the local, local minimum, and this is the maximum. Yeah? So we see that. Yeah? So yeah, corresponding to this position. Yeah? So we can see that this must be here. Yeah? Yeah. So I would like to show you that I will set 20, uh, 50 point, yeah? Then start with this one, yeah? Okay, yeah? I would like to show you the module. So we have uh, uh, distribute this point randomly, and uh, hopefully we have seen that this is the, uh, the lowest point, yeah? Among this 50 point, yeah? And yeah, basically this one, yeah? So we start with, so this is the this is the process spiral. Yeah? So and we confess to this point. Yeah? All point we are confess to this minima. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another point is rustic string function. Yeah? This is a multimodal function. Yeah? We want to find the minimum. Yeah? And okay, yeah? and this is the two dimensional version. Yeah? And two, yeah? this is, uh, and the lower factor is a counter plot diagram. Yeah? And this one is uh, uh, the function. Yeah? The graph on the function is a, uh, okay. Yeah? So if we start with input M, we start uh, with 100 points and K max uh, 200 and R equal to this one, uh, 0 0.95 and that I equal to V over 4. Uh, we arrive at uh, output X1 almost zero. Yeah? So we fit uh, and F is at this one, yeah? almost zero. So we, we see that uh, our problem will be converted at uh, the routine. Yeah? With f is the value zero. Okay? So we see from this figure yeah? in one dimension, see this one. The minimum is at x equal to zero. Okay? In two dimensions, also yeah? x and the return. Yeah? And, but if uh, so, okay. How about a uh, higher dimension? Yeah? For example, we have three dimension, yeah? three dimensional spiral model. Ah, yeah? uh, and three dimensional we have a uh, three rotation matrix. Yeah? First, a rotation in the x1, x2 plane, yeah? and in the x1, x3, and x2, x3 matrix rotation. Yeah? So we see that uh, this is the equation of the spiral yeah? model okay, yeah? for transformation yeah? with r equal to this one. Yeah, yeah? with r is uh, with r is uh, rotation matrix. Yeah? in three dimension, yeah? So, this one, yeah. This is a picture of the three dimension, yeah? We start from uh, 
then uh, this start from this one uh, on this point and perform spra uh, transformation with theta equal to p over two and r. So we just the trajectory on this one with this one and and this one. Yeah. So so and at the end we convert to to the zero. It's the same. Yeah. Same one. If we start with another collision, yeah, p equal p over four, yeah, so this is uh, the result yeah, in three dimensions. The trajectory of uh, the points yeah, under converts to the origin. Yeah. Okay. Rotation and n dimensional space. Yeah, so this is a rotation and this is the uh, composition of uh, rotation matrix yeah, and uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, Composition, yeah, composition matrix, yeah, rotation with R n yeah, is equal to this one. Yeah. This is we have a n by n matrix, yeah, and at the position i t, yeah, this is the e i t, yeah, cosinus, and this is minus, yeah, and this one. Yeah. So we have rotation matrix and n dimension. Yeah. Um, and the, okay, this is the nice. n dimension. Yeah, the structure is the same. Yeah, but now we have an n dimension. Yeah, R n R n is uh, rotation matrix in n dimension, and R is scale. Okay. Okay. okay this is uh, the problem is uh, this is the restricting function. Yeah. So we have uh, here uh, thirty. Yeah. Thirty. Dimension, yeah. So with m equal 100 and k equal 1000, yeah. This is this parameter. We obtain that this one, yeah. but we see that output. The output is not uh, satisfied yeah, because uh, uh, the 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 result must be zero. Yeah, but we see we see that our, the dimension is quite high. Yeah. So it is must uh, normally we search with not only 100 but more points yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, so but it's, yeah, this is the reset, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Almost closely to zero, yeah. Not zero, yeah. And the exact value is zero. Yeah, so, okay. Now, now uh, another problem is finding roots of system of nonlinear equation, yeah. So before we talk about optimization, yeah. Now uh, we want to find root of system and using speed and using optimization, yeah. So, okay, maximization of, uh, yeah, sorry. So we have a, a system of nonlinear equation. Yeah? So you see, we have n equation with n variable. Yeah? So with equation with n variable, yeah? with uh, d equal to, this one is uh, the domain of the function, yeah? and uh, the bounded domain. Yeah? Yeah. The above system has a solution at x. Yeah? Precisely when the function f x defined by this one yeah, is equal to one yeah, maximum value one. Yeah. So this is the uh, what we call uh, this, uh, merit function. Yeah. So sorry, function or merit function. So instead of solving directly uh, this system, yeah, we transform the problem of solving system of nonlinear equation this one yeah, into the problem of Minimizing the function fx, yeah? the merit function. Yeah? So we define the merit function. Uh, this is our one definition that we have another, uh, uh, yeah, we have another, uh, another typical definition. Yeah? For example, we can say fx equal to the, uh, the uh, square here, yeah? a summation of the square or, or also a summation of uh, absolute value of ti. Yeah? So this is another um, strategy. Yeah? But uh, in this work, uh, we use this one. Yeah? So this is another one. Yeah? This is one yeah? So uh, this is uh, as an example. Yeah? See, uh, basically, a uh, non-linear system has much more than one root. Yeah? What about this one? Yeah? For this, this is the first function and the second function. If we make a plot and the 
x y uh, and uh, yeah it's by uh, uh, some, uh, and the counter plot yeah? see we see that this is the first function and, and the other function is one so we see uh, the intersection and this is uh, in, the, in the intersection the point intersection is are the root of the system yeah so we see that we have here uh, 12 yeah roots yeah some of them is very close to each other, yeah? So, yeah. Now, the whole problem is to find these roots of the system, yeah? Now, there are uh, methods uh, we know that uh, one can use a uh, Newton method, a uh, Proton method like that, yeah? That is the X method, yeah? Also, say, the gradient method, yeah? But uh, today, we use another uh, strategy, yeah? To find the optimization. Now, there is another function, yeah? Uh, so, yeah. And this is the sex equation and sex variable, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. If we use the sex space this one, yeah. Now if we perform the one uh, spiral optimization with five hundred, yeah, is this one yeah, parameter of spiral, we obtain this solution, yeah. You're saying the spiral optimization model. And we see that uh, our merit function is equal exactly to one. Yeah? And if we substitute this one to gx, yeah, we have this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is uh, the computational, yeah, but not equal to exactly zero, yeah? but it's a very, very small. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is uh, now. Uh, the problem with this equation is like that. Yeah? If we use, uh, for example, Newton method or one spiral optimization method, yeah, we, can, we can find only one root yeah, at its, uh, if we uh, use the Newton or spiral or projection method, we typically only obtain one root. Yeah. But the problem is, can we find all the root in one source? And yeah, our problem is if can we find, find a method yeah, to find all these roots in one run? Yeah? So this is, uh, yeah, not one by one, yeah, but in one run. Yeah? Yeah. So we want to talk about this one. Yeah? So this is our clustering technique. Yeah? This is the clustering technique. Yeah? Now, suppose that uh, we are going to a first visual optimization. Yeah? So suppose that we have a 100 points, this one, yeah? and we want to find uh, the minimum, the points of minimum. This one is zero. Yeah? If we just learn, see, yeah. So we have, uh, yeah. Uh, we have a root, the number, uh, the function f, and merit function will equal to one. Yeah? So uh, not all these points, this is uh, in this, if we randomly uh, this point, yeah, we, so uh, this point, eh? we put this point, eh? we cannot find uh, or we cannot see uh, where is uh, the roots. Eh? But uh, the indication is when if we have a point near on the, the root, yeah? not exactly in the root, and the, fu the function value will be close to one. Eh? Yeah? So because we have a merit function that is between zero and one. Yeah? So, the greatest one is uh, the, at, the, at, the, at the root, yeah? So uh, if we cut uh, this point and uh, cut off, yeah? So if we, for example, uh, we retain only point where uh, the value of f is less than, uh, greater than 0 0.5, misalnya, uh, like that, or 0 0.8, yeah? So we can only, uh, Small number of points eh, instead of all the points, yeah? because uh, the other point is must be distant from the roots, yeah? and for the point uh, near the roots, uh, so this might be satisfied yeah? with a uh, number of the value of merit function will be close to one, yeah? so exactly one, yeah? but. Uh, it is not the exact position. I maybe mean, the exact position on the root is at, uh, yeah, at, the, at this point or, or this uh, environment. Yeah? So from this one, we will perform, uh, yeah, this one, uh, uh, clustering. Yeah? This is the clustering. Yeah? We start with 
uh, a point with where the f value is minimal yeah, among this uh, finite point. Yeah. And then we set the other point. Yeah. Uh, OK. Yeah. So this is another, uh, the second number, second point yeah, where uh, uh, the value is less than uh, 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 greater than this one, yeah, but this is not F. Yeah. Um, we, yeah, we this, uh, divide uh, this, this one uh, uh, and the middle, yeah, we start the middle point, yeah, this is the new point, yeah, um, we compare it with the value. Yeah. So this is the circle, yeah. we want to find the uh, cluster, yeah. So there is one, yeah, and like one, yeah. Yeah, so you see that another point, yeah, this one, yeah, is it. Yeah. And like, uh, yeah, divide the midpoint between uh, the last one, yeah, this is, and the nearest point from this one, yeah. And this one, yeah. We divide by two, yeah. And this one, yeah. My base is one, yeah. Okay, yeah. This one, yeah. This is the dynamic, yeah. And until we have uh, all the last one. So we see that actually we have uh, this cluster. Yeah? Yeah. But, uh, this is, uh, we hope that uh, the, the real roots will uh, locate in this, their position. Yeah? So this is one. OK. Yeah. So uh, this is the algorithm. Yeah? So it might be uh, very complicated. <laughs> so the number of search points at the clustering phase. Yeah? Uh, this is the cutoff parameter. Yeah? This is the very important parameter yeah? to cut off uh, the points. Uh, for example, if we generate 100 random points, yeah? and we must cut off this point, yeah? and we return only uh, this point with uh, greater uh, value of f. f yeah? For example, near one, yeah. So, so cut off parameter, yeah. And parameter for roots acceptance, yeah. Parameter of different set one candidate and this another, yeah. So we can differentiate uh, if, you know, maximum iteration number and this yeah. uh, This is the uh, clustering phase, yeah. Generally, random initial point, yeah. So visible region, yeah. And k one, so, so set x star as x star, yeah. This is uh, the maximum, yeah. The maximum of equal to one, yeah. So the center of the first cluster, yeah. Equal to, yeah, this is one, yeah. And for E equal to two, this one, yeah. This is the cut, cut off point, yeah. Cut off, uh, yeah. Cut off point, yeah. Cut off number, yeah. Maybe so, so easy. I have to also the cut off parameter, yeah. So we return only XE, uh, that is in the value f greater than gamma. Yeah. So, so we have uh, much reduction of uh, the number of points. Yeah. And this one, the, this point will be considered as a center on the cluster. Yeah. Then maybe have a possibility to become a cluster center. And then do the following function cluster. Yeah. So yeah, this is the detail, but maybe so. Yeah, so it's not very detailed, yeah. so like so. Basically, so with uh, midpoint like that, yeah? so midpoint. Yeah? So we see that this is the midpoint between A and C. Okay, yeah? and the difference here. Yeah? Okay, yeah. set up there. Yeah? UK times of step yeah? spiral of the mission phase. So we use a spiral. Yeah? We have a ten step. Mm -hmm. We obtain a set of cluster. Uh, each member of the set is in the center and radius yeah? to each of this uh, we perform spiral dynamic optimization to obtain a candidate of root at each cluster. Yeah? So this is the cluster yeah? and selection of and keep only candidate root with satisfy condition. Uh, this is uh, the condition that uh, fx is a root, so fx must be equal to one. Yeah? So we but uh, this is a metaheuristic algorithm, yeah? so maybe it is not exact points, yeah? but this point is very close to the exact root. So we return only can get root, which satisfy greater than one minus epsilon. Yeah? 
So we got a small number epsilon. Yeah? So we might use it. This one is very near to the root. Yeah? Suppose from the shadow, we get a short n candidate, a candidate. Then we show selection root. Yeah? This one so very, yeah. F2 root is very uh, adjacent yeah? uh, and, and uh, very close each other. Yeah? Maybe uh, this root is uh, only one number, yeah? maybe. <laughs> but, uh, at, so, but maybe uh, actually there are uh, two numbers, yeah? different, two, two roots different, yeah? Where is that? So, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll select the point, no? And root x of system one. So we have some decision that way. Another uh, feature of uh, the method is we propose instead of pseudo random number, eh? Because the pseudo random number may not uniformly distribute in the just region of the problem. Yeah? It will be helpful if it is possible to generate population of points yeah? in the just region for which the deviation from uniformity is minimal. Yeah? So we talk about uh, this one. Yeah? Suppose we have a set of points. Yeah? So yeah, this is uh, yeah the discrepancy of set of points. Yeah? So it is not not meant to tell yeah? when the set of rectangle is also, so yeah. This is uh, the construction of sample sequence of points yeah? and the low discrepancy sequence yeah? and you know and and uh, the more relevant the points on the sequence are distributed closer discrepancy of it. So uh, this is the sample sequence. Yeah? Okay. So this is very detailed. Yeah? So maybe I I, I would guess. Uh, Visual <laughs> comparison, yeah? scatter plot of the first 100 points. Yeah? This one is sample sequence of points. Yeah? If we, this is a construction of sample points, are not random but are deterministic. Yeah? So there is an algorithm to construct this sample sequence of points, yeah? quasi random. Yeah? And this one is uh, one of the points generated using a pseudo random, yeah? pseudo random number. So we see that uh, we have some area where there is no point, uh, we can, uh, no points here, yeah? But you see that uh, using sample sequence, yeah, almost uh, all position will be, will, at least one point, eh? <laughs> So the points will be distributed more uniformly than pseudo-random, eh? Okay, yeah, so uh, this one, uh, this feature is very good, eh? If we want to find all root of the system of equation, eh? because, uh, the root on the system might be, uh, might be uh, greater than one. Yeah? So the point in the space is uh, difficult to, to find, yeah? especially in higher dimension, and yeah? dimension greater than three or one, where we cannot find the picture. Yeah? So we must uh, find, uh, so uh, the suppose is gonna find, uh, they can contribute a greater uh, in the enhancement from the overall method. Yeah? So as a, uh, as a numerical experiment, yeah. You see, uh, this is the interesting function yeah? analysis. We see that this is the definition of Weierstrass function. Yeah? So we said n equal to one, yeah, the infinite. Yeah? This is the function. Yeah? S equal between C one and two, and lambda greater than one. Yeah? It's known as a function. This is a Almost function, eh, which is continuous but nowhere differentiable. Eh? So this function is not differentiable eh, nowhere, eh? It's, but continuous. Eh? So if uh, but and and also but suppose that uh, we we cut the n only for n equal twenty eh? with s as this one eh? and lambda equal to one point five. Eh? We truncate uh, the the summation eh? only. Uh, 20, yeah? so this one, yeah? this is the equation. Now we want to find the root of this function, yeah? gx, yeah? the surface of even zero and five. Yeah? Okay, uh, this is a very interesting, yeah? because if we plot the function, uh, sorry, uh, first uh, use the clustering technique, yeah? the input, yeah? this is the clustering, yeah? the, uh, this, this one, yeah? the spiral optimization, yeah? we see that, uh, Generate uh, sample sequence with 200 points yeah? and k cluster, k max, yeah? 5p, yeah? epsilon. This is the, yeah, if we want to find very, very small epsilon, yeah? 
and delta uh, to differentiate f two points as very near as or two point as root or only one one root. Yeah? So it would difference the problem. Yeah? And this is the uh, spiral optimization from each cluster. Yeah? So we can just find yeah? And this is a very interesting uh, result. Yeah? Using a clustering technique and a spiral optimization, we found nine roots. Yeah? You see that x1, and this is the root. Yeah? And this is the value of g, yeah? almost equal to zero. Yeah? This one, and g. You see that uh, this one is very, very close to each other. Yeah? Three, four, five, six, and seven is very close to each other. Yeah? We divide at the third digit uh, after the, yeah, that's this one, yeah, see, this one, yeah. So, look at the plot on the graph. This is the where such function with uh, n equal to 20, yeah. This, if we plot the function, yeah, we see that we only have this zero, yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, yeah. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Using, uh, yeah, visualization. Yeah? But actually, this point, if we perform the zoom at this position, we see that we have more than one point. Yeah? Instead of one point, we have one, two, uh, three, four, five. Yeah? So five point and generated into the one point, yeah? uh, four point. Yeah? So this is a really a uh, root of the system. Yeah? It is this equation, yeah? and this is confirmed using uh, this one. Yeah? So the number, yeah, the point three four five yeah? uh, difference at the third digit uh, after uh, the, this one. Yeah? So and, yeah? so very close each other. Yeah? Root is very close each other, yeah? and our method is can differentiate this point. Yeah? So, Using a clustering, yeah? this is the result on the clustering. Yeah? So we can obtain uh, nine root instead of five. Yeah? <laughs> From figure, we see that all on the five, but really, this one the nine root. Okay. So this is another uh, example. Yeah? This is the, this one, yeah? a non linear system. Yeah? If we use a clustering technique, uh, 2000 yeah? and spiral optimization, and so on. Okay, yeah. Now we found uh, all is 12 roots. Yeah? This uh, 12 root is obtained in one single run. Yeah? You see, yeah? using pseudo random points, we have found simultaneously all roots in six runs from 100 runs. Yeah? Yeah? So if we have uh, at, uh, at, the, at the start, we Using random number instead of sample sequence, yeah, we see that uh, in those 100 runs, yeah, we perform 100 runs. Yeah. Simultaneously, we found 12 roots only in six runs. But in uh, the methods, uh, spiral optimization using clustering, we found 12 roots in one single run yeah, using the parameter of clustering, this one. Yeah. So we are trying to so, yeah, using this parameter, we obtain 12 root at uh, the single run. Yeah. So we see that, yeah, GF is almost equal to zero, yeah, this is no zero. Um, we see that uh, we can find all this, all those roots, yeah, 12 roots. Yeah. So this is very, very close each other. Yeah. This one is, uh, we obtain in one single run. Yeah. Not one by one, eh, but single run, eh, single cluster. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, in the in, in the base in the base is under plot, and this is the value of f, eh, and the value of uh, merit function. Eh, so in the, in the three dimension, eh, and see, uh, we have uh, input this one, eh, and this clustering technique. Eh. So yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry, in in the <laughs> Okay, yeah. so uh, I would like to show you this one. Eh. This, nah. this is uh, the first running yeah? we, with uh, 50 points. Yeah? And among them, yeah, this one is uh, the highest point, yeah? the, the highest F, yeah? F. 
So we just repeat uh, this poem, the same support sequence. Yeah? Have the, have the, have the, uh, have the points, yeah? And one of them uh, lie in this one. Yeah? So we see that this is the contour plot. Yeah? And uh, the yellow one is uh, the highest num uh, value of merit function. Yeah? So naturally, uh, the, the, the root will be situated in this uh, area. Yeah? So this one is. So we can say that run the program. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So this is one. Yeah. OK. Yeah. This is in the process of running. Yeah. The same spiral optimization. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, yeah. and convert to the root. Yeah. So this one. Okay, yeah. This is one one root, yeah. So we see. Oh, actually there are the twelve root, yeah. <laughs> but I see yeah. this is the second one. This one. This is the, yeah, second one, yeah. Okay. So this is another point, yeah. So we see that okay. Yeah, this is, yeah, okay, uh, second run, yeah. Oh, this is the first run, yeah, sorry. Oh, this is, okay, yeah. This is a small problem, yeah. Okay, this is the, okay. Yeah, I yeah. I put a result that this one is another point, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, we found another one, yeah, this one, yeah. We see that, ah, uh, no, uh, we, uh, this is a uh, trans, with another point, yeah. yeah. Start from BR and we found another point, yeah, uh, good one, yeah, this one, yeah. So, yeah. so we have only one solution, yeah, using spiral automation, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, this is another, Function, yeah? and this one is equal to, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, yeah. This one, uh, clustering technique, and yeah, this is no function, uh, no linear function. Uh, instead of solving directly three equation, and uh, we perform a substitution, yeah? so we have actually we have two function, yeah? and this one is okay. Yeah? Then this one is equal to, okay. This is actually a nine root, yeah? This one, then we found, yeah, uh, yeah, this one, yeah. So, yeah, exactly, yeah. This is the one. Another point is we have the six variable, yeah? Clustering technique, we have clustering technique. We found that we have uh, two roots, yeah? Uh, we have, uh, this is a new root, yeah? Because uh, in our, yeah. Uh, and of my ref, uh, reference, uh, this is uh, one only, uh, a paper only find this solution, eh? and we have another solution using cluster. Okay. So uh, we can also find the complex root for the system. Eh? So this one, eh? if what about the complex root? Eh? So this one is complex number and complex function. So basically, if we have a complex function, we can uh, express it in real. A uh, component and imaginary uh, component, yeah? and this one, yeah? so we can find, yeah, real and imaginary. Yeah? So we separate the uh, imaginary part and real part. Yeah? So basically, we have, okay, yeah, four equation and four variable. Yeah? So you can find using the spiral optimization. Okay, yeah? okay, so we can find. Yeah? But uh, it is not always easy for a okay, given component to, especially real and imaginary part, working directly with common. In C++, we may use library complex edge, yeah? and this one is as a sample, yeah? using the C++. Yeah? Okay, yeah? with simultaneously this root. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so this is one. Yeah? Uh, this one, yeah? not the problem. Yeah? Okay, yeah? this is a very, yeah. We obtain six real roots and 21 complex yeah, for what is problem. Yeah? This is, uh, we have three the problems as well. Yeah? And we say six roots, real root and 21 complex roots. Yeah? This is the real roots and 21. Yeah? And the other problem is, yeah? 
turut dan dan kompleks banget ya. So we can also do the Dupontian equation ya. Suppose an among a variable must be integer ya. Uh, before calculate uh, merit function f, we must convert x1 and x e to become integer type ya. F memang x binar ya. So this is uh, the same technique ya. For example this one ya. So it must be integer ya. For example this one ya. Using clustering technique ya. With this parameter ya. We obtain this one ya. This is uh, the function ya. And okay ya. This is another Diopantian equation ya. That is it. Oke okay, ya, yeah. so we have solution ya. Oke ya. Oke, dari semua. So, oh, so there is another application that makes it just normal programming ya. Yeah. So this is, uh, ah yeah. ya, the the real problem is so this the real problem ya. Yeah. Speed reducer ya. Yeah. So, ya, yeah. the problem is mathematically uh, the problem is like this ya. Yeah. This is the function, the objective function and subject to ya, yeah, this is the constraint ya. Yeah. No linear constraint ya, we have eleven uh, constraint ya, and uh, among the variable six variable uh, x 3 is must be integer ya, among the six variable x 3 must be integer ya, so using uh, teknik ya, using penalty function like this ya, we have uh, output this one, so it's uh, exactly the same as Uh, on our reference, yeah. benchmark function, yeah. this one, yeah. the, uh, our method will give this one, yeah. but not our benchmark function, yeah. but uh, it's okay, okay yeah. but this one is about the signature technique, yeah. so this one, yeah. but also, okay, but also, it's in the same, yeah. this is the problem, yeah. this is the optimization problem with constraint, yeah. so this one, yeah. constraint, yeah. but now uh, we have the X1 and X2 must be multiplication multiplied of 0.06 in this one. Yeah. So, uh, okay, yeah. Makes sense. Integer programming, okay, yeah. So, this one. Another point is uh, relative problem, yeah. This is the end problem in sport, yeah. Relative problem, yeah. We have four sprinter, one of which, uh, yeah, for. Uh, This printer are selected randomly from group and right? that this one. Now, mathematically, this one. And the problem is uh, zero one programming. Yeah? This is the zero one programming. Yeah? This is the minimize this one yeah? and constraint. And this is the zero one programming. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? This is the data. Yeah? For example, yeah? we have six printer and we will sort uh, among the six printer, we must find uh, four of them. Yeah? in the fastest, uh, at the total fastest collection of this one. So this is the data, yeah? and using spiral optimization, yeah? this one, yeah? uh, we obtain this result. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Fraction one, complete three, number five. So the total time is, this is a good one. So another point is we can find also the problem Sorting uh, this one, yeah. this is another technique. Yeah. Yeah. Multimodal optimization, yeah. yeah, this one is, yeah, if we can, yeah, multimodal. Instead of finding a root, oh, we can find multimodal machine. So this one is the uh, example, yeah. using the diverse, yeah, this is the spiral optimization, interface yeah. uh, We obtain this one, yeah. five result, yeah. The fourth one is the minimum, yeah? and the last one is the maximum. Yeah? So this one is minimum and maximum. Yeah? This is uh, okay. Yeah, this one. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? This is another step. Different evaluation phase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, the standard problem. Yeah. So can I explain uh, using exact method? Yeah? This one. Yeah. yeah. The difference here, yeah. This is a stationary point, yeah. Okay, yeah. The exact. So, uh, basically, we have uh, the, the spiral will be applied to this point, yeah. See, stationary point, and so we can find the root of uh, this point, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So, we have done. Yeah. So, this is uh, the point, yeah. So, we can.
Okay, yeah, conclusion. Yeah, maybe. yeah. so uh, the root finding problem has been transferred to global optimization problem. So instead of directly uh, finding roots, uh, uh, we perform the problem transform to the optimization problem yeah, using a combination of the proposed clustering technique and SPIRA optimization algorithm. The roots of the system of knowledge equation can be localized and identified in single run. Yeah? So the result from various test cases indicate that all real can be found without a priori, yeah? without a priori a knowledge of the number of the roots. Yeah? So uh, uh, in general, we can we cannot state uh, how many roots uh, for a given system of knowledge equation. Yeah? Yeah, so this is, when, this is the, the great problem in uh, finding the root of system on non-linear equation. Yeah? especially in higher dimension. Eh? We cannot find how many roots uh, is in the loop. Eh? Maybe, maybe some is in the multiple roots in the case. Eh? So to improve the opinion experience, select for NT, eh? setting the parameter on the algorithm must be carefully done. Eh? This is the problem with metaheuristic. Eh? Uh, Finally, it depends on the choice of parameter. <laughs> A modified supervision algorithm may be used to solve MENLP problem mixed in the term non programming. Eh? The use of sample sequence of point instead of pseudo random to generate initial population of point from this may enhance the effectiveness on the method. Yeah? Okay, combination of the proposed clustering technique and SOA we have been shown able to obtain the maximum and minimum point, both local and global, of the multimodal function in a single run. So, this is uh, the result, yeah? and this is the uh, reference. Yeah? Yeah? This is the the, the first paper is from Tamura and Yasuda. It is in the first time the spiral optimization algorithm is introduced. Yeah? And yeah, this is uh, our paper, yeah? finding all solution. And, uh, uh, spiral, and this is the solving mixed integer nonlinear programming. Yeah? And that's a point paper. Yeah? And you say well, also you finding multiple solution of multimodal emulsion. Yeah? So, we find all multimodal optimization during spiral optimization and component compact roots. Yeah? So we have some. And yeah, the recent paper, yeah? uh, read by uh, Nofriana and Tim, yeah? and Yama Ayam and Kanya, etc. Yeah? The method of finding numerical solution to Diopentin equation yeah? using spiral optimization clustering. Yeah? This is a uh, very recent, yeah? Uh, yeah, very recent publication. Yeah? So this one. Okay, thank you for your attention. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Kuncoro. It is very interesting uh, talk. Before we go on with the question and answer session, we want we want to relax first <laughs> and <laughs> to hear the uh, song. Any song. Uh, Professor Eddie, uh, Okay, uh, thank thank you, uh, Bu Anna. So now we are going to present some uh, uh, song. This is a dedicated song uh, for Pak Kuncoro. Yeah. So this song is sung by uh, our alumni of uh, uh, choir uh, group. Yeah, uh, of ITB and. Uh, two of them, the singers, uh, Bak Kunjara will recognize them. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Let me share. Ah, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, just a moment. Okay, uh, I stop first. Okay, I should share. Okay, the sound is set already. Yeah. Okay. Oi, what that Okay.
Okay. I hope Pak uh, Kunjoro enjoy and all everyone here enjoy the song. Pak Kunjoro, did you recognize uh, some of our colleagues there? Yeah, yeah. Rino. Rino and Chaya. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So back to uh, Anna. Rino is a passion member of the passion. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much. There is uh, there are Ibu Rino and Ibu Hilda. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, now we want to have an uh, answer and question. I will, I will take a look at in the chat. There are three questions from Bapak Muhammad Lutfi Shahab. Bapak Lutfi, uh, okay. do you want to ask that three or I just uh, read it? Okay. The first question is, who do we determine the number of clusters? Right? Yeah. Yeah. The first one is, how do we determine the number of clusters? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we cannot in advance uh, know how many questions we will obtain. Eh? So this is, uh, we cannot answer this uh, number in advance. Eh? Yeah. So it depends on the problem. Eh? So, and, and also in the UBC that uh, we uh, use a cutoff parameter. Eh? Yeah. So if we have a cutoff parameter gamma is lower, eh? for example, if, and, and if we have a gamma is equal 
en otro experimento, ¿eh? if gamma is taken as, por ejemplo, 0.8, ¿eh? uh, this is very close to one, ¿eh? uh, almost we cannot find a point ¿eh? which satisfies uh, at this condition, ¿eh? at the, uh, at the uh, primer phase. ¿eh? So uh, it is uh, advisable to use the gamma a lower value, ¿eh? for example, 0.5, 0.1 and 0.5, ¿eh? instead of 0.8. So 0.1 and so 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 we have uh, some uh, points eh, uh, that eliminated from this one. Eh? But uh, the number of cluster uh, cannot determine in advance. Eh? So it's depend on our heavily on kind of parameter. Eh? So this is not the problem. Eh? So okay. Eh? So we just uh, decided on the number of our cluster. Uh, yeah, we just uh, self divided it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. or if it is not sufficient, and then uh, we have addition number of clusters, something like that. So, uh, Professor Kuntero said it depends on the depend on the uh, question, yeah, equation, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the second uh, second question is. How efficient is the method for solving yeah, yeah, yeah. non-linear systems? Yeah, okay. For example, with yeah. 100, 100 yeah, yeah. variables and 100 equations. Yeah, this is uh, the, the this is the, the question that I will ask uh, every time. Eh? Uh, the problem with uh, this method is uh, really heavily on the on the uh, uh, what we call the rotation. Uh, Transformation, eh? so, so we are mapping rotation mapping. Eh? So if we have a uh, higher dimension, we must uh, perform several um, projection matrix. Eh? So this uh, this uh, took uh, a lot of time. Eh? Up to now, uh, I have uh, worked with only uh, under uh, 45 equation and 45 variable, yeah? mm. uh, Over that is very time consuming, this is problem, yeah? So this is open, yeah? This is the problem with uh, the method is uh, the number of projection matrix, yeah? So this one is a rotation matrix, a projection matrix, like that, yeah? In higher dimension, we have uh, so many uh, projection matrix, yeah? So on the method, we have not addition. Another point is, uh, we can use a uh, parallel computation eh, instead of uh, sequential eh, to perform analysis in its uh, cluster via form. Eh. So uh, in, in this uh, in our method, eh, uh, we have uh, used uh, sequential uh, procedure, eh, sequential, not parallel processing, eh, sequential optimization. Eh. But uh, one of my students in computational science, eh, I took uh, uh, to to use uh, parallel computation uh, for this technique yeah? and uh, the success of it. Yeah? So uh, the computing time will be very, very reduced yeah? using uh, parallel computation yeah? to perform uh, optimization and each cluster. Yeah? So for example, if we have 100 clusters, so yeah, if we one by one, yeah, it was took time, uh, so longer time, yeah? but using a parallel computation, we may reduce uh, the time of computing. Eh? So this one is another problem. Yeah? Okay, this one is, uh, the, yeah, this is the problem is uh, the method is if we have a higher dimension. Eh? Up to now, we have uh, a success with 45 variable. Yeah? Mm. And the third question is, uh, is the method good for optimizing machine learning problems? Uh, yeah, uh, basically, if we have uh, optimization, yeah, so we can use uh, this technique. Yeah. For example, uh, recently uh, we have uh, worked on maybe uh, a new method in solving a partial differential equation, like physics informed neural network. Yeah. So maybe some people, yeah, this is a kind of uh, physics informed neural network. Yeah. And, and also, we have uh, used this technique uh, to solve the uh, differential equation or partial differential equation using physics and form neural network. Eh? 
uh, basically uh, the method is uh, we perform the approximation function using artificial neural network okay? and after that uh, we use the physics and form neural network it's, it, this means that uh, we uh, minimize the loss function yeah? this is the loss function is uh, the uh, uh, approximating uh, solution for using neural network we uh, perform uh, to the uh, five uh, differential equation and naturally uh, and also it's boundary and initial condition yeah? uh, naturally we have a penalty function yeah? so we have the loss function yeah? so we have to minimize this loss function yeah? uh, normally uh, in the literature uh, people use the Adams, yeah? Adams yeah? adaptive differential method yeah? to perform the optimization. Yeah? But uh, we have tried uh, to, uh, to optimize using spiral optimization yeah? for this problem yeah? and succeed, yeah? especially in the problem in finance, yeah? the differential equation uh, like that, and for example, in black school equation, yeah? this is the second order partial differential equation, and we saw using the pen method. Yeah? This is uh, okay. Yeah, this is one is Okay, thank you, uh, Professor Kunjoro. The second, um, the second person to ask is Mr. Said Eksa. He wrote that, thank you for the explanation of the material provided. There are few questions on discussion. What are the prospects of this method if hybridized with other methods? So it is uh, mixed with other methods. How is the prospect of uh, this method? Okay, uh, this is uh, say a good question. <laughs> For example, of one solving a system of nonlinear equation yeah, like that, yeah, we have found, uh, you, you see that uh, we have, uh, this is uh, like, uh, yeah, basically our method is metaheuristic method, yeah, but uh, really, yeah, and the method with if we use a sample sequence, all procedure is deterministic. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But if we use a uh, secure number and the first uh, at k equals zero, yeah? so the method will be metaheuristic. Yeah? But uh, in, in our uh, technique, yeah? we use instead of secure number, we use a stopper sequence point. So under uh, the same set of parameters, we, uh, if we run several times, we have arrived at the same solution. Yeah? But if we use a secure number, we have a uh, different solution eh? so we have a solution yeah? okay uh, so if we are found uh, using this technique yeah? uh, uh, the solution of on the roots yeah? this is uh, you see that approximately this is the only the uh, what we have found we, we call this a nearly optimal solution yeah? so this is what we call this is a kind of metaheuristic yeah? near optimal solution yeah? It is different, for example, if we use a uh, steepest discount method like that. Yeah? So the stopping criteria is a gradient is equal to zero. Yeah? So this is the exact method. Yeah? Okay, and in that, in that uh, situation, we can hybridize. Yeah? So we perform first, if uh, in higher dimension, yeah? because in higher dimension, if we use the exact method, it is very, uh, uh, sometimes it is not easy. Yeah? Especially if you have uh, using Newton method and Brodian method like that, yeah, exact method. The problem is we must uh, calculate the gradient and also we must uh, supply with initial points, yeah, with hopefully uh, close to the problem, yeah, to close to this exact solution. Yeah. So this is the problem. Yeah. If we are not uh, exactly uh, near the problem, might be we. Uh, Trap in the local local minima, yeah? but uh, okay. But another problem, uh, only minima will be uh, uh, global optimum. Yeah? So this is uh, so the same uh, the same the what do you merit function like this. Yeah? All the zero is uh, global optimum. Yeah? So uh, this one yeah? here we can use uh, after uh, perform some spiral uh, some spiral run. Yeah? Uh, maybe it might be take time. Yeah? And we hope that uh, the solution will be almost close to, yeah, close to the real roots. Yeah? So we can uh, continue using the exact method, yeah? like Newton or Britain, like that. Yeah? So this is the hybrid method, maybe. Yeah? 
spiral automation may be uh, used to find uh, initial a good initial quest yeah, for the exact method. And then at the final step, in the final method, using the uh, exact method. Yeah. So we hope that we, we have a much more accurate solution. Yeah. So this is the hybrid method. Yeah. Okay, the second question is uh, very specific about how to mix the method with uh, machine learning or network problems. What is yeah. the prospect? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just uh, stated about the problem. Yeah. As, 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 yeah. uh, when you have a uh, minimization problem, yeah, like that, uh, machine learning uh, at the end, we must be uh, uh, deal with optimization. Yeah. When we have solve, uh, when we have uh, optimization problem. Basically, we can use, for example, the spiral method yeah, to find the global optimum solution yeah, or another, another, yeah, another technique, yeah, metaheuristic. Yeah. But especially for the root of finding a solution, root finding, yeah, here's the problem. Yeah. So that is the issue to machine learning or the only other problem. Yeah. So I just talk about the PIN, yeah, P-I-N-N. Yeah. This is the new method. Yeah. Physics and form the other uh, Especially in, uh, I would talk about, about the problem yeah? in engineering problem, yeah? like that in personal engineering, yeah? uh, we use uh, analysis on the software yeah? to uh, perform the drilling is very high cost. Yeah? So to analyze uh, the NDR, yeah? given area, we cannot uh, use uh, multiple drilling method, yeah? but we can also on several drilling problem, yeah? and that I'll continue using PIN, yeah? physics and formula, but this is the problem using first uh, uh, initial approximating solution uh, we, we perform using artificial network, yeah? and then uh, the second phase is to use the physics and formula. But this is uh, the, the solution must be uh, uh, conformed to the, uh, must be conformed to the problem, yeah? so this is the must be uh, yeah, uh, solution of you know, dif differential equation and its boundary and initial condition. Yeah? So the problem is to minimize the penalty function, which consists of objective function. This is the loss function of differential equation, the residual condition, and plus boundary and final and initial on the final condition. Yeah? So this is the optimization problem. Yeah. yeah. So okay. instead of, yeah. Thank you. The next question is from Mr. Ayumi Sasmito. Uh, he is wondering uh, whether the metaheuristic meta algorithm is used okay. as a comparison of yeah. the problem. And yeah. how it is resolved. Yeah. All of the example uh, yeah, uh, I have shown to you, this, this is uh, uh, taken from another paper. Yeah? So this is uh, another paper. Yeah? And the, the paper is just another method, eh, naturally. Eh? Mm. So uh, we compare with this paper. Eh? Some is a good solution. Eh? Uh, another is we, uh, the, the other paper, we, they, they found only one and we can find another solution. Eh? For example, this one, eh? because we use the clustering technique, eh? especially in higher dimension. Eh? So this uh, when is comparison with them. Eh? Yeah. But the problem is in higher dimension is, uh, yeah, naturally, all uh, example is to be written uh, the dimension not so higher, eh? maybe the 10 dimension, 20 dimension, like that. Eh? So, uh, the other paper, as we just saw, is using the meta like genetic algorithm on PSO, eh? so solving the, the problem. Eh? So, yeah. and the result is also comparable. Eh? Sometimes uh, uh, we have a uh, better than. Uh, the result of them from the other paper. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. All, all the sex sample uh, we have uh, shown to you, this is, uh, I'll talk from uh, problem of the other journal. Yeah, so we have a comparison. Okay. Okay. Thank Especially you. for the X, uh, no, no, but not for the convex route, eh? <laughs> because uh, uh, also not so many journal eh, produce the convex route. Eh? So, yeah, but we found that's fine. Okay. Okay, thank you. And this uh, question from Mrs. Irma Palupi. 
Uh, thank you for very clear and excellent presentation. I'm interested to how to implement this method if we have mix of discrete and continuous domain. What is what is acceptable? Okay. Good idea to do rotation in discrete space. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe uh, this with as maybe uh, I think uh, uh, what you mean might be is uh, mix in the term nonlinear programming. Maybe. Yeah? This is the problem of minimization where uh, the variable is some variable must be uh, integer and the other must uh, might be uh, real, yeah? so continuous, and uh, the, some variable might be discrete. Yeah? Or maybe uh, or another problem is zero one programming, yeah? or mix. Yeah? Some variable might be zero and one value, and another must be uh, integer and the other must be real. Yeah? So we have mix integer non linear programming. Yeah, uh, we have uh, so uh, we uh, we have uh, solved this problem using this technique. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we we have solved this problem also. Yeah? It's basically uh, makes it the nonlinear programming. Yeah. So there's no problem. Yeah? This problem. Yeah. When we want to uh, when we arrive at the step of um, finding solution where some of the variable must be integer, for example, yeah, yeah. Uh, or algorithm uh, run in a real uh, variable, yeah? so in the continuous one, yeah? and we must uh, make a adjustment. Yeah? So we must uh, uh, reduce the to the nearest integer or yeah, nearest integer. Yeah? So to tackle the problem with integer programming. We have a real solution and we took, uh, we translate them in the rounding this solution yeah, and perform the next step. Yeah. So, so there is a problem. Yeah. So in fact, yeah. we, we have, uh, we have uh, this implementation to the uh, discrete, discrete is mean that we, we we want to find the integer, the solution. Yeah. But actually, we do it in uh, continuous, yeah, continuous, yeah. continuous space, and after that, uh, we uh, look for the integer one. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. So we can. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for. Uh, I would like to give questions. I think the time is up. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for the very short excellent uh, presentation. And then I will give it back to Professor Eddie. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so uh, thanks again. Yeah, let us uh, join me to thanks to Professor Kuncharo Aji. Uh, for wonderful and inspiring uh, lectures today. And on behalf of the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, we would like to uh, present you some uh, certificate, Pa Kuncharo. Yes, and thank so, you. Uh, a kind of uh, small token from us, from the Mathematics Distinguished Lecture Series. Thank you very much. Let me show you the certificates. Okay. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, yes. Ah, okay. So yes. this is the certificate of the Mathematic Distinguished Lecture Series uh, presented to Professor Kuncharo Aji Siddhartha, uh, signed by our Dean, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences. I think. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very and much. also, this is a, a, <laughs> a appreciation. So our uh, I mean, uh, we like to thank uh, the thanks to Professor Kunjaraji uh, for giving uh, these lectures. Yeah, and this is uh, done by uh, not spiral optimization, but by AI, <laughs> AI apps. Uh, okay, we we will frame these uh, nice uh, photos, and we will. We send you, give you uh, in person, Pak Okay, thanks. Okay. thanks this, is from, this is from our Prodi 
I will, okay. uh, yeah, uh, mathematics uh, department. Okay, so again, thank you very much, Pak uh, Kunjoro, and thanks to everybody for attending this uh, lecture. And uh, see you again uh, next month. Yeah. Thank okay. Bye bye from now. Yeah. Terima kasih semuanya. Terima kasih. Yeah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam.